Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this stitch. It's a Tunisian crochet stitch. Um, it's a different Tunisian crochet. It's very easy to make. Um, hope that you will manage to find it. You find this video interesting and that you manage to make it. So, um, for this stitch, we're going to need um, a crochet hook for Tunisian crochet. It's a longer hook because we have to make stitches on it, like this one, it's like this one, it's like a knitting needle, but from here it's like a knitting needle, it's a long one, and here you have a hook in the front, it's a hook. Um, that's because we have to make stitches on it. So now, for this um, stitch we have to make multiples of three so the chains the the um, the chains we have to make are multi multiples of three always we make multiples of three now we're going to start the next the first row we go in the third chain and the third one we're going to go turn the thread on the hook go in the third chain pull up a stitch that is one we're going to do that six times turn the thread pull up a stitch two Three, four, five, and six. We we'll have to make that six times in the same stitch, in the same chain. So those are the first six. Now we're going to skip two chains, skip two chains, and we're going to do the same in the third one. So we skipped two chains, now we're going to make six, like the we did in the first one, in the third chain. Continue, I think this is the fourth, fifth, and sixth, always in the same stitch. Now we're going to do the same, we're going to skip the next two. We go in the third one and we're going to do the same. That's why we need this type of hook for the Tunisian crochet. Because as you can see, we're putting stitches on the hook. That's why we need this type of hook, a long hook. And we're going we're making another six. Now this row, we're going to repeat what, what I'm doing. You're going to skip two always. And you make six. You turn the thread, you pull up a stitch for six times in each in the, in, in the stitches, in the chains, in the third chain that we have. Again, we skip another two, one, two, we go in the third one. And we do the same. We continue all the row like that. You skip two, in the third one you do this. Continue like that. So as you can see, this is the first row. You see, we have all the stitches on the hook. If we have a small hook, we, we couldn't do that. That's why we have these, these hooks. Now, we turn the thread and we're going to pull through half of the first group. You pull through half of it, of the first group. You pull through half of it. Like that. Now, we're going to make a chain now. We make a chain in the stitch. There. And now turn the thread and we're going to pull um, through the other half that we have remaining of the first group. We're going to do the same. You turn the thread. We pull through half of the, the next group that we have. Pull through half of it. You turn the thread and you, you make a chain. You make a chain, turn the thread and you pull through the, the other half of the same group. That is the second one. Again, you turn the thread, you pull through the other half, half of the next group. You make a chain and you pull through the other half we're going to continue the row like this you turn the thread you pull through 
the next half, half of the next group. You make a chain. Important that you make that chain because in the next row we're going to work on that chain. And then you pull through the last half of the group. We do it again, you turn the thread, you pull through half of the group, you make a chain, turn the thread and you pull through the other half. That is how we have to continue all the row. Again, you turn the thread, you pull through half of it, you make a chain, and you pull through the other half. And you continue the row like that. I'm going to stop for a while to remind you of my ebook. Um, in this ebook, you will find um, lots of pictures. Um, I also included some very easy patterns. This ebook is ideal for those who want to, to learn crochet and knitting. Maybe they have never, um, they haven't found anyone to teach them. So this book is ideal for those who wish to try and learn crochet and knitting. Um, hope you find it useful. In the description, you will find a link from where you can get it. And I will send it via email. As I told you in the description, you will find the link from where you can get it. So, there is the second row is ready, as you can see. Now, these two rows, we're going to repeat them. So, we make a chain. We go where we made that chain in the middle of these, these here. And we're going to make another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going always to work where we made that chain of the row before. We go in the second one here in the middle. We find where we made the chain there. And we're going to make another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We go in the next one and we're going to make another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we continue the row like that. We go in the next one and we make another six. One, One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you continue the row like that, like I'm showing you. Always find the one, the chain in the middle, and you make six. You turn the thread, you pull up a stitch, you make six. Continue like that. Now we're going to repeat the second row like we did the second row. As I told you here, we made, we made the stitches in the middle where we made the chain. As I told you, these rows, we're going to repeat always the second one. You turn the thread, you pull through half of the first group of stitches. If you find it a bit difficult, but then you will manage. You make a chain because that is where we have to work in the next row. We turn the thread and we're going to pull through the other half. Again, you turn the thread, you pull through the first half of the group, as you get along you will get used to it more. You make a chain, and you pull through the other half. Again, you turn the thread, you pull through the next half, 
the first half of the group, you make a chain and you pull through the other half and you continue this row like that. Here I missed the chain, a, 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 a stitch, so I'm going to pull through it too. Again, you pull the thread, you pull, turn on the thread, you pull through half of it, you make a chain, you turn the thread that you pull through the other half. That is the second row. And you continue all the others like that. You pull through half of it, you continue like that. Now, this, the second row is ready. We're going to start again from the first row. So we make a chain. We go in the middle where we made that chain and we're going to make six again stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We go in the next one, we find the chain. We made in the middle and we're going to make another six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So as you can see, we're repeating always those two rows that I showed you. This pattern is repeating always those two rows. Two, three, four, five, and six. And you continue the row like that. Now, again, we're going to repeat the row where we pull through the stitches. So we turn the thread, we pull through half of the stitches, we make a chain, and we pull through the other half. Again, you turn the thread, you pull through half of the stitches, you turn it, you make a chain, pull the thread and you pull through the other half. You turn the thread, you pull through half of the stitches, you make a chain and you pull through the other half. So as I told you, these two rows, we're going to repeat them always. That is the pattern. Always repeating these two rows. You, you start with the first one, the second one, the first one, the second one. So it's not difficult to make, as you can see. Um, you repeat these two rows always. Now I will be, I will make, I will work more rows for you to see how the pattern comes. But as I told you, all you have to do is always repeating these two rows that I showed you, the first one and the second one. Here I made more rows, as you can see, this is how the stitch comes. As you have seen, it was not difficult, always repeating those two rows. Um, hope that you understood what I was doing and that you tried. Bye for now.